Tropical rainforests are one of the most biodiverse areas on our planet and they're really important to the functioning of our planet as well in terms of water recycling, they control the climate and of course they provide habitat for millions of different species as well. When the rainforest is destroyed, it's not only causing this catastrophic loss of habitat for wildlife, but it's also having incredible impacts on the climate of our planet. And so by humanity sort of encroaching further and further into these remaining wild places, we're really damaging the future for ourselves as well as for all of the other species that we share this planet with. Sloths are a really important part of the tropical ecosystem. In a healthy rainforest, 50% of the mammalian biomass should be sloths. My name is Dr. Rebecca Cliff, and I'm the founder and the director of the Sloth Conservation Foundation in the South Caribbean of Costa Rica. The Sloth Conservation Foundation is a nonprofit, and it's our mission to safeguard a future for sloths all over the planet. We're in a town called Puerto Viejo, and it's a really interesting place because it's a town which has historically been very underdeveloped, but it is now being developed very, very quickly. What's happening is humans are sort of slowly encroaching into the forest and we're cutting down a few trees here and there. So you've still got sort of a broad level of forest cover, but the trees are very fragmented. Rainforest fragmentation's a really big problem for a lot of species, but for sloths in particular. If the rainforest canopy is broken up even a tiny bit, they have to come all the way down to the ground, crawl across the floor to get up the next tree, and that leaves them very vulnerable. Um, so what we try and do is reconnect these fragmented patches of rainforest, and we can do that through planting more trees, building these forest corridors, or by installing artificial wildlife bridges, which help sloths and other species move from tree to tree safely. We've built now over 250 wildlife bridges just in the South Caribbean of Costa Rica. We put camera traps on the end of the bridges to try and monitor which species are using them and which bridges are most effective. And looking through the footage of a slot crossing bridge we have installed on the coastline here in Puerto Viejo. And actually we can see here that a two-fingered slot was using the bridge. We have quite a lot of pictures of him. And then we have a three-fingered slot also using the bridge. And we can see a troop of howler monkeys that was using the bridge quite a lot. Collecting data for us on the, on the usage of the bridges and then um, also the efficiency and the effectivity of the bridges is really, really important because we have to make sure that we're connecting um, the most important areas of habitat for wildlife. We have a project called the Urban Sloth Project to better understand how sloths in urban areas are um, surviving compared to the sloths that are living in healthy, pristine rainforest environments. So what we do for this is we put tracking devices on a lot of sloths living in a lot of different places and we also put something called a sloth backpack on them and it records lots of different things about how the sloth lives and the environment in which it's living. This is Mango. So we found Mango as a tiny little baby on the ground alone about um, 12 months ago now. We put a little tracking collar on him and we released him back into the wild. And he's teaching us a lot about how sloths live um, in rapidly changing environments like this one where um, the rainforest is being urbanized. So we're gonna change his backpack today, download some of the data and then put him back in his tree where we just got him from. In there is 3.5. Okay, so we're on uh, 62 centimetres for arm span. And that tells us the size of the gaps that you can cross between the trees. So it's an important measurement. Perfect. Now that is much nicer. They really do depend on having this healthy, continuous forest ecosystem to live in. So if the sloths are suffering, then the next ones to suffer is gonna be everything else and the whole system will fall apart. So by protecting sloths, this is the good news, is we're protecting everything else um, alongside it. 
Having the support of the local community is essential for the success of all of our projects. Nothing that we do would be possible without them. And we have to make sure that we engage and empower every single property owner in a given area to make their little section of land as wildlife friendly as it possibly can be. Estamos en Puerto Viejo, en el Caribe, en la finca de mi familia. Aquí hay muchos perezosos por muchos árboles. Especialmente aquí, en este árbol, había un perezoso y él baja para buscar otros árboles y no hay conexión. Sí, yo recomiendo a todos en la comunidad eh, que, que les pidan a los de Slotco de poner estos puentes porque es muy importante. It's a really difficult thing for us to ask any person to not develop their land and not benefit from it financially because this is an area that's been sort of undeveloped for forever and now suddenly um, economic development has reached the area and there's a lot of opportunities for people to make a lot of money and they've never had these opportunities before so who are we to say no don't do that so all of our projects are geared towards helping people benefit from their land but in the most sustainable and wildlife friendly way and doing it before it's too late because a lot of the world has already gone too far down the road and if we have any hope for the future then it's got to be to preserve what's left in places like this and what's left is actually magical and it's why so many of us now flock to these places because it's where nature remains it's where the wilderness still exists and I just hope that we're able to preserve it before it's too late and before the magic gets lost.